I get the stopwatches out. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, so obviously, press with the TV today, and everyone's like, oh, it's going to be big. You've got Burnout, you've got Kapagachi, you've got Quintana, you've got Wout Van Aert, you've got Yates, you've got all the big hitters. And I was like, oh, you get the stopwatch out. It's going to be a fast time. It's going to be a fast time. And my, oh my, is it the quickest time that I didn't think was possible. So we're going to go through the times historically, so put it into context, then the power of the day, and then my reactions and thoughts afterwards. So first of all, we're going to go on uh, the climbingrecords.com. Uh, this guy, Mihai, I'm pretty sure it could be Amarep Polly, one of the two Twitter boys. Uh, they basically just get the stopwatch out every single time there's a climb and they record it all. So this is 2012. We've got here Vincenzo Nibali, 38.56. Um, and then Kreuzweger and uh, Horner, 39.12. Okay, it's 2012, right? Nine years ago, cycling probably in a cleaner place than it is now. 2013, Froome comes along, does 38.22. And everyone's probably like, oh, Froome, what mental time. And to be fair, 30 seconds is not too different, let's be honest. You know, wind here, wind there, faster run in more people on the lead out, 7%, decent draft, etc. And then this year, 36 minutes and six seconds, 24.43 kilometers an hour. I mean, that's just, I mean, anyone who can do maths knows that's a big increase. And obviously like, I mean, I'm not gonna say anything more, but we all know what everyone's thinking here. You don't just go two minutes it's quicker on a bet, better nutrition and aero, um, <laughs> that's for sure. And like, it wasn't even an easy stage. Um, so these are, the, these are the times here again, um, and Mihai, he says 6.6, .6, and we're going to get into it. If it is 6.6, .6, probably a little bit less. Often these watts per kilo calculations aren't very accurate because they don't use power data. They just use Dr. Fry's VAM calculations, which are okay, but not perfect. Uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll find, uh, actually, we'll, we'll just show you the resu results uh, first of all, because um, so obviously no power, no power, no power, no power. But Simon Carr, put him up there interviewed him before his first pro win last year. I said he's going to be a hitter, and he is a hitter, and he did so, so well today. And he's 40, 42 seconds back, and he's got his data up. So we're just going to go through it quickly now. Um, obviously, hard day, 300 normalized for four hours. Not easy, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, we'll just get into the climb. So pretty hilly all day. Um, first climb, five and a bit, four watts per kilo. Second climb, four and a half. Last penultimate climb, 5.2, that's not that easy, but if we if we go on the actual climb, it's like 5.6 for 20 minutes. Okay, that's tempo for them, no, for sure, but it's not like they just noodled, like Von, um, Provence, for instance, where they just sort of noodle along and then whack it. It was a decent day. It's also, what, stage seven, is it? Or stage four? four. I think it could be stage four. Well, um, we'll see. Yeah, stage four. So, you know, three days in the legs. It hasn't been an easy three days. Yesterday was quite tough. And then we're going to get into Prati de Thibo and... Yeah, 6.2 watts per kilo for 36.31. So yeah, that's, that's pretty big. Uh, he did it in 36 minutes, 31, Simon Carr. So he was like a minute and a half quicker than Froome. No, two minutes quicker than Froome, right? Double check that. Yeah, yeah. so he was about two minutes quicker than Froome as well, which is just absolutely bonkers as well. Um, and yeah, like the last part, okay, where he was just doing six watts per kilo, where Tade was just launching it. And I mean, they kept on having this graphic on the screen saying he was doing like 420 watts. I don't know if that's correct. Um, but the first part, like just 6.3 for 20 minutes. And I reckon they just continued like that's 24 average. So you reckon, I reckon that's what he, he just rode 6.3, 6.4 watts per kilo, Tade Pogaccio for the whole climb. And Yates was close. And I think that's the sort of like roguest or not roguest thing, but like the weirdest thing is because like, if we go back here, like Chris Froome was like 38, 22, and they were all like around 38 minutes. But like now, everyone's at 36. Like it's not like, you know, oh, there's loads of different time gaps. Like, oh, Pagacha just rode 36 and everyone's at 38. It's like everyone's at that level now. Like, okay, in the top 10 was all within a minute. So they're all doing close to six for 20, for 40 minutes now, 36 minutes. It's pretty bonkers that the the sort of numbers people are putting out these days. And uh, yeah, it's just been everyone, Daddy Bagacha. Um, like Yates was close, but it was pretty mental, uh, to be honest. So what a stage it was. I mean, Parry Nice numbers weren't that impressive. Still looked a high climbing performance, but not quite as big as, as Tirreno. 
Ineos just not not got the watts to be honest with uh, Garrett and Egan Bernal. Uh, but Simon Carr looked good. Um, Jao Almeida, Matteo Fabro, 52 kilo climber from Italy. He's finally time of age. Quintana, Lando, all good. They all featured also in GP Attiginato, which uh, we'll also put up that. That's a class, class video. Definitely would watch that. And Sergio Aguita as well, looking really good as well. But yeah, it's just it's just bonkers. Nibali, minute and a half back. Alaphilippe, minute and 44 back. Clearly not climbing as well. So clearly this, this race is a lot higher performance than Provence because Bernal was, what, 58 seconds back as well. Um, so yeah, clearly not as high. And then, you know, further back is three, four minutes back. But very, very interesting stage. Very, very fast. Obviously, leave your comments below and, uh, you know, we'll see see what everyone thinks about it. I mean, I just, I don't really understand how they can go two minutes quicker than what they did. Obviously, you could say it's weather and stuff, but two minutes, that's quite a lot. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.